successful in doing that. Tackle, 12 out, directly in front of the Penrith post. Healy turns it back for Long. The tackle down low. It was Domic who made it. Saved the try in the first half with some good defence as well. Dykes, set play, McKenna. Gives it to Healy. Eddingshausen, blistering fast hands to Rogers. Diving for the corner and gets there. Oh, they're turning it on. It is showtime at Shark Park. Ten metres out from the quarter line. Miller, away it comes to Hatch. Down the centre comes David Hatch. And the Cronulla skipper gets up and plays it. Almost on the quarter line. Miller from dummy half. He's taken in good defence then by Chalmers. On the 22 metre line, as Dockings passes away to Speechley, on it goes now to Diamond, Diamond's got his pass away, on it to Wilson, Wilson's almost in the clear, Wilson's still going, good run from the lock forward, he's only a couple of metres out, last tackle against the Sharks, as Wilson struggles to get to his feet, he plays it, Staines, it goes to Docking, Docking tries the little grubber kick, and he scored, it's a try, Docking's got it and scored! It's 8-0. Cronulla quickly responded with three-quarter Glenn Coleman racing away with a spectacular 60-metre try. Dykes. Off to Andrew Pearce. Some little depth about the Cronulla forwards. And Trista. Long away from the tackle of John Cross. McKenna over the halfway line, got a great pass. Back away to Dykes. Here they go now. Pierce straight through them. They're queuing up outside him. Peachy was there. So was Eddinghausen. The captain dives over. Under the black dot as well. And the Sharks are coming to get them with a big total here in the first half. Side out way. That probably took a little bit of concentration away. E.T., well, he's in the spot nine times out of ten, Turf. Well, Penrith's um, disadvantage here was a letting uh, Cronulla, or the Sharks, rather, play with the ball. Great ball here. Andrew Enninghausen could see him um, backing him up right there. Good place to score. It is right under the post. But I think the Panthers are falling off tackles. And that's come back to Slater. Slater going straight through a big hole. The pass over the top from now coming out towards Krinkovic. Krinkovic for the corner. Oh, what a magnificent tackle. Speechley. Speechley from nowhere. Cut him down. Magnificent tackle as Krinkovic set sail for the corner. But look at this cover defence. He came out of nowhere, this fellow. But good positioning. Playing the ball at this stage. Is it away from Docking, away to Porter? Replace of the draw, so on side, Michael Gregory, 23 is on in replace of... Robert well, they've got to try to make Parramatta start back peddling with the kicking game. Speechley, Diamond, back it comes to Docking, down the centre, here comes Little Docking, Docking away again, he's over the quarter line, Docking for the line, oh, great defence from Tony Chalmers, only five metres out. In a dummy half, it's a freestone. Away it comes now to Speechley, and Speechley must score. That's the ball game. Bye-bye, Parramatta. They've got no chance of making the five now, and the Sharks have got the two Winfield Cup points all parcel up. At the sports ground, the Sharks drew first blood as Dean Carney put Craig Diamond into the clear, and he left the East defence in his wake to score near the pace, giving the Sharks an 8-0 lead at half-time. Stevens again, short pass to Lang, running off his hip. Sadler and Greenhill there to stop him. Five metres out, they go left. Dykes it is, gives a pass to Graham, trying to bump into the, the tackle of Henson and then slip the ball, he couldn't do so. Peachy from dummy half, looking for number three. He got a pass away, gave it to Brett Howland, and I think you'll find he scored the fifth try of the night for Prunella. That Peachy was the man that was going to create the problems. Alexander came up a bit quick. He committed two players. Hicks was the man that should have stayed out to match up wing on wing. He didn't. An error in judgment has cost his team four points. With a penalty to each side, Cronulla led 8-6 at half time. And that score looked like carrying through to the hooter until Craig Diamond bulldozed over the Bears' defence minutes from full time. The final score, Cronulla defeating North Sydney 12 points to six. And that lead was increased in the second half through an East error. Tony Melray's grubber kick resulted in a Sharks try at the other end of the Sydney sports ground. Phil Hurst left a despairing Laurie Spina in his wake, racing 90 metres to give Cronulla a match-winning lead. 
The final score at the sports ground, 16-6 to Cronulla. He wants a second try, getting in close to the action. A couple of tackles gone. Ferris a dummy half. Healy waits. Gives it to Dykes. Outside him he finds Chris McKenna. Juggled it, bobbled it, grabbed it. And has tackled about eight out from the Panthers line. Peachy to Healy. Turns it back for Andrew Pearce. But John Cross from strong defence. Ferris again. Fires it to Healy. It comes. Too straight to that man. Colin Best it was. Straight through them, a pretty average piece of defensive back from the Panthers. Best, who was just a simple one-on-one -on -one tackle, 